Hey guys, it's Max here. We live in uncertain times and you never know when you gotta hit the woods if you know what I'm talking about. But it's always best to be prepared for such a situation. Not that it's gonna ever happen, but it's just best to be prepared, you know what I'm saying. So uh, in this video, I'll present to you my very own homemade survival kit from a waterproof box. It contains every single thing you need from uh, knives, things to start fires with, uh, things to make an SOS or alert somebody around or even to catch fish. So yeah, let me show you what's inside. So here's the survival kit itself. It's in a waterproof box and uh, it's by the brand Otterbox. They make really good cases and um, all sorts of stuff for tech as well. And opening it up has these two little latches at the side which it opens up like that. And in here we have all the stuff that I have been preparing for the last two days. At the top we have some aluminum foil. This is for cooking food in. Let's say you got a chicken or a fish you wanna wrap around in foil and put over the fire. And uh, it's also really good to deflect sunlight if you ever need to. And over here, this is a very vital thing to have in such a kit, which are charcoal pills. Yeah, they're made of charcoal and they're supposed to settle down your stomach in times when uh, you've eaten something really uh, poisonous or basically uh, gotten a tummy ache maybe from hunger so these will ease the pain down yeah you can just see the name here it's written in Russian here we have some band-aids got two different sizes um, a lens cloth with a mirror which is very good for SOS signals and stuff and uh, also to look at yourself hi guys <laughs> and uh, yeah set that aside then we have a lighter of course it's very good to have something to start a fire with or to melt something a loop glass, also a very good method to start a fire and I'll never run out, such as a lighter would. When you run out of lighter fluid, you gotta figure out how to start a fire, and also when you run out of matches, so a loop glass is pretty great. Then we have a little bottle of petrol. So yeah, this petrol is good for starting a fire or anything to kickstart a fire. And next up we have a mini pen. <laughs> this is a small pen, basically a shortened down pen good for making notes and you know taking notes or sending out messages and stuff yeah it's good to have a pen then here we have some uh, fish hooks and we even got some spare fishing hooks and a bit of line in there speaking of fishing line we have even more of this nylon fishing line it's a quarter of a millimeter line very strong stuff and then we have a D battery here this alkaline battery is very good for starting fires and stuff you start a fire with aluminum foil by short circuiting it and then we have a miniature LED flashlight you can see it turns on and it's a very bright flashlight at nighttime then we have something to cut wood with which is a very uh, unique method by using some steel wire to saw wood it has these two little rings that you put your fingers in just like that we even have a bundle of matches. Most of them, the brown headed matches, are just regular ones, so if you get them wet, they'll probably be destroyed. And we also have some pink headed matches, which are waterproof. We also have a little uh, striker on the side, actually, a couple of strikers, and everything's bundled in rubber bands. And then we also have some paracord, which is some really strong stuff. It's a strong rope and good to, for tying things together. A survival whistle, which is a must have item in every survival kit. <laughs> And it also has a little compartment on the inside, which some of you probably already know about these kind of survival whistles. You can store some really small stuff. <laughs> I wonder what you'd put in there. Then over here we have some paper clips wrapped around in rubber bands. These can be turned into fish hooks once you run out of them. Then we have a bit of Velcro. This is a Velcro strap to you know, wrap anything around or if you have a big cut and you're gashing blood anywhere, you can just tie it around your hand and it'll press it together so uh, yeah it's good having a bit of velcro and then we also have a pair of nail clippers got to keep your nails short <laughs> and a bottle opener on the bottom then we have some can tabs which can also be turned into fish hooks if you ever run out of even your paper clips <laughs> then we also have a clamp a razor blade here which is from one of my Stanley knives and it's uh, really sharp then at the very bottom I got a very flat pocket knife which flips out like so. And then we also have a needle and a magnet. Now what might that be for? It's a compass. So you rub a needle against a ferrite magnet, then you put it on a leaf that's floating on water and then it directs, its, uh, directs the pointy tip northward. 
so you can find out where you are in case you don't have a compass. Then over here to the left we have a mineral substance called potassium permanganate which can purify your water so you put three or four crystals to one liter of water and it purifies it so that you can drink the water and it's a very very important thing to have in a survival kit like this. We also have some thread and a couple of needles for, to sew any of your clothes that start to rip. Very good to have that. And it's also good to have some nails to bang into some wood. You gotta have nails. A tube of super glue to glue anything that starts to break and then we got a pair of tweezers. Last but not least we have a multi-tool which has all sorts of blades and uh, saws and all sorts of things that are very useful to have in a survival kit. A bottle opener, a pair of scissors, a pair of pliers, that's a good thing to have, a screwdriver, there, whatever this is. We got this uh, loop glass right here, a saw, very dull saw, and it has a little measuring stick in inches. This is one of my favorites, it's a wood saw, it's very good at cutting wood, a file. This is some sort of pointy tool, don't know what that is, corkscrew. So yeah, that's all the tools in my multi-tool, which is pretty cool, <laughs> that kind of rhymed. So yeah guys, that's everything I have in my survival kit. That's all for this time guys. I really hope you enjoyed my DIY survival kit. It has pretty much every single thing you need out there in order to survive. Of course it doesn't include the larger kind of tools like maybe slingshots, backpacks, uh, saws and all sorts of other big stuff and tents you know that you need to survive out there. But it has the essentials that you're gonna need out there so uh, yeah. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did I would really appreciate if you give it a like. Share this video with your friends, subscribe to my channel with the notification bell ticked so that you never miss an upcoming video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at max.imagination. Thanks for watching guys! See you next time! Peace!